comme ni ko ñoo falla be legi ban ñaan pour nga am pour sa dom al musel ni nga xamne mom la yalla wacce ci ñun ñepp di koy continuer di koy saytu waxtu bu nek be bëss bi ega ci jamm ci ñun ñepp ñu ngi la jërem di la sarga ci suñu programme bi sa kaddu rafeti ñu wax ñu ci sa dom yi nga xamne ñu ko ñoo falla be ci fukki fan ci wé bu ñu ñoo duga ci ni um di wax né waaw jëri jëf rek waxtu bu nek ci borom bi do you feel now that your brother reverend joseph is about to be ordained a priest for the diocese of banjul waaw xana di sant yalla lu bari bari rek kese na xamna zu dire ba ordain nekut ñun rek la mo jëriñ waye dafa jëriñ di xol gambia waaw legi naka nga sentu bëss bi wa di ñaan yalla rek ci fekke ko ak jaama di ñaan yalla fekke ko ak jaama rek bes bu ñoo ñu ordain ko ak jaama ñu paresse ak jaama mu sam bo bi ak jaama euh legi nak lan moy sa ñaan pour reverend jo ha di ñaan helmu sel mi rek mu yaaga di wacce ci ñun rek ak mom ñepp bless ko su mon su mom ak ya baji allah bi an ko reden jo ah mati ah famille yu luli ah kay ne nak di ati ea emité ah malike mo wi ne yi nen bare den wa no ko reden comme ala bi ren wolo di famille yu luli ra ñame waaw to fang ham mam benene kay ne nak luli di bur nga bu catholique kat di catholique ka fara ka ndum ka fara ko bu mati ah e kané o pour la bête di jo ah wolé kokori ka faré ko di bouyé gétu ba sété ah di émang ya lu mango mi di moro ah mo kané wala yaw wuli ko kré ko di wuyé gétu ba sété wuli ko fana yi di elaw bu kan anosan mana benen to ke kalawak e di bu mati jo ah atémit ah mana abenene kay ni na ko la ah mana benene di wan o ki ah mana benene no sembe man wano san wanda fare mi bu tekkan di borom batiku catholic ah bu o kan wati e ke jetum bu kanako atchul ah lan moy seignan pour reverend jo kala wa kan yam man di lawe bu mati jo e mbi akan ala be andu wase abaje wata yati jangwe wata yati ku catholic ku wadati anosan di lal wati wati anosan di ulal ku katolike di wano wati anosan ulal burom kami bukan you are about to be ordained a priest for the diocese of banjul how do you feel for me this is the greatest moment i have been waiting after nine years of studies it it is my greatest joy i must say and i continue to thank god asking him to continue to give me the graces so that on that day in the presence of all gambians i will be ordained as a priest and not only as a priest but as a man who will continue to show god's love to all humanity despite the status of the individual but at least i will be open to every individual so for me this is my greatest joy how i can serve god in the people that i am sent to What are your plans after ordination? Well actually I must say my plans after ordination one is to serve the people of God. And how can I serve them? Is by giving them my whole time as a priest because I am ordained for them. And so it is my responsibility as a priest to give them my whole time at least so that they too will receive the salvation promised by our Lord Jesus Christ will come to know the word of God and not only the word of God but will also encounter Jesus Christ at the breaking of the bread which is the center of our celebration the Eucharist what would you like to say to young people who may also want to follow your footsteps to join the seminary to become priest for the diocese of Angel and even parents especially your mother who have helped you throughout this journey now that you are you are about to be ordained a priest exactly 
In the first place, I must say, people no, must not be afraid, but they must come out willingly, because the Lord who has called us will always see us through. He will never let us down, but he is, he is, he is always there behind us, trying to give us the strength and the courage that we need so as to forge ahead on our journey. I must also encourage parents that they should not enforce certain things on their children. When a child comes to you and says, this is what I want in life, the best thing as a parent is to encourage the individual because we all have our own choices and the best thing is to guide the child so that he may achieve what he wants to achieve in life. So the journey to the seminary, yes, is very long, nine years, it's a long period, but I must tell you it is even short. By the time you reach your final year, you don't even, at times you may say, how comes? It is some, something very, very short, exactly. So I must say, let them come, let them not be afraid. Jesus is always there ready to embrace them. And to your, your family and friends? Well, to my family and friends, I must say, in the first place, I want to thank all of them because it is through their help that I have reached this stage. Had it been not for them, through the pain of my education and the support that they have been rendering to me from my childhood days up to this level, it would have been possible. But through their help, through their assistance, I have reached thus far, and so I continue to thank them that God will continue to reward them abundantly. Uh, Reverend Joe, mm -hmm. it's nice talking to you, and thank you so much for giving us this time. And uh, I wish you a very good and uh, a happy life into the priesthood. Mm -hmm. And I pray that the Lord will guide you come the 10th of November when you'll be ordained a priest for the Diocese of Banjo. Thank you very much, Matthew. It's a pleasure. <laughs>